In this video, I'll show you how to make an ogive graph. An ogive is a type of frequency polygon that shows cumulative frequencies. Cumulative frequency is on the y-axis, and class boundaries are on the x-axis. It's very similar to a histogram, only instead of rectangles, an ogive has a single point marking where the top right of the rectangle would be. It's usually easier to create this kind of graph from a frequency table. I'm going to create an ogive graph for this set of data. Step one, I want to make a relative frequency table from the data. The first column has the class limits. These are sometimes called bins. The second column has the frequency, or count. That's the number of items that fall into each bin. For example, there are five numbers between 1 and 9. The third column has the relative frequency. I take the number of items in the bin and divide it by the total number of items. I have 25 items, so my first relative frequency is going to be 5 divided by 25, and that's point 2. Step 2. Add a fourth column and accumulate, that is add up, the frequencies in column 2. You'll want to go down from the top to the bottom. For example, the second row is the sum of the first and second entries in the frequency column. That's 5 plus 5 equals 10. The third entry is the sum of the first, second and third rows in the frequency column. That's 5 plus 5 plus 6 equals 16. For the fifth column, we're going to accumulate the relative frequencies from column 3. For example, my first row is 0.2. My second row is the accumulation of the first two rows. So 0.2 plus 0.2 is 0.4. Now I've drawn my table, I can create my graph. The next step is to draw a basic xy graph. I want the percent cumulative relative frequency on the y-axis. That's from 0 to 100%. And on the x-axis, I'm going to put my class boundaries, just as if I was creating a histogram. Now I can plot my points. I'm plotting my cumulative relative frequencies. Each point should be plotted on the upper limit of the class boundary. For example, my first class boundary is 1 to 9, so my point is going to be placed at 9. If we were drawing a histogram, we'd put a rectangle here. The final step is to connect the dots with straight lines. The ogive is one continuous line, made up of several smaller lines that connect pairs of dots. And here's my finished graph. I hope you found the video helpful. Please take a moment to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.